Moin bei Padouts bin Nico und ich spiele Triangle Strategy und heute machen wir weiter mit Kapitel 8 und Mann, habe ich einen Bock, aber können die mal aufhören, so viele geile Spiele auf einmal zu releasen? Ich komme nicht mehr hinterher, ja, das macht mich richtig fertig. Ich brauche so einen Raum von Geist und Zeit, in dem ich am Wochenende so den ganzen Scheiß mal durchballer, ey. Ich will doch nur Triangle Strategy spielen. Hört auf, Spiele zu releasen. House Wolfford prevails against General Avlora's army and drives them out of Glenbrook. Though victorious, Roland sobs quietly, saddened by the sacrifices made in his name. Glenbrook is powerless, but knows they must keep the royal bloodline alive. Thus, the conspiracies and power struggles around the noble blood in Roland's veins continue to stain the land crimson. Das Feenland im Wind, Akt 1. Oha, wieder ein Meer da. Oh mein Gott, eine Charakterepisode. Lass es die Regenmacherin sein. Ich will das. Während der Hochwasserschutzarbeiten am Fluss plaudert Erador über die guten alten Zeiten mit Benedikt. Die oh, oh, warte, warte. Muss ich alles machen? Kann ich alles machen oder muss ich mich entscheiden? Ne, komm, wir, wir fangen hier mal an. Once we have stacked those sandbags, we should be well fortified against even the fiercest deluge. Leave it to me. This old wolf has some vim in him yet. Okay, übertreib. Phew. Haven't used some of those muscles since before I can remember. I must say, when I saw the enormity of the task before us, I did not think we would finish in mere bows. I had braced myself for a full day of labor, at the very least. Thank Benedict for that. We'd still be searching for weaknesses in our perimeter had he not been guiding us. Indeed, but let us not understate Eridor's feats of strength. Come now, Eridor. How many times must I tell you to be delicate with the sandbags? We only have so many at hand. I hear you, I hear you. I'll treat them as delicately as my lady love, in the absence of one. <laughs> now is not the time for jests, Eridor. If you don't want me complaining and you don't want me jesting, then I guess I'll just shut my mouth. To hear them trading barbs like children, you would never think they work so well together. Wisdom and strength. Two pillars that keep House Wolfort standing strong. Wisdom, eh? He wasn't always that way. Took him plenty of failing to get where he is now. I find that difficult to believe. Is there something you wish to share with us, Eridor? Might be. Maybe you've forgotten the folly of 20 years past, but my mind is a steel trap. <laughs> and what's our task for today? We are to deliver this message to Lady Destra with all haste. Seems simple enough. Send a bird. I would not trust a bird in this rain. A horse would be more reliable and swifter besides. Is that so? I respectfully disagree, my friend. Either way, I'm not going to be the one nursing you back to health if you catch the chills. Shall we make it a wager then? Send a bird and we shall see who reaches Lady Destra first. You had best hurry. What? Benedict. Off he goes. Well then, where are those damned hawks?
As I recall, Benedict arrived at around the same time as the Hawk. If it were a sunny day, he might have won. Ah, the folly of youth. Many of our best days were spent in Lord Simon's service. We made many such wagers, in an attempt to get into Lord Simon and Lady Destra's good graces. <laughs> I remember when... I believe we have had enough reminiscing for one day, Eridor. Don't be such a harsh taskmaster, Benedict. Where's the harm in a story? Ask me that again, when the floodwaters break through our meager fortifications. There is much to do, and little time to do it. Wouldn't you agree, Anna? M me I, uh... Old friends or old enemies? Sometimes it is hard to tell with those two. Whatever the case, our work's done for the day. And there's nothing like a hard drink after hard labor. You two care to join me? I would love to. Please, regale me with more tales of your youth. I see no harm in one drink. <laughs> Let's be off then. Shall we invite Benedict along? You'd only be wasting your breath. Now that you mention it, I do not believe I have ever seen you two sharing drinks. Spirits cloud the mind, so I rarely drink. When I do partake, however, I prefer to do so in quiet. I fear Eridor would only spoil that. Na, das war doch ganz süß. Obwohl ich äh, absolut Team Arador bin. Oh mein Gott, wir haben einfach super viele Charakter-Episoden. Wahrscheinlich, äh, sobald man ein bestimmtes Level erreicht hat, schaltet man die Charakter-Episode frei. Ja, Leute, ist mir egal. Dann dauert der Part eben unendlich lange. So, Frederika hat etwas Wichtiges mit ihrer Gouvernante Gila zu bereden. Lord Serenoa never ceases to amaze me. Despite all the hours he dedicates to his duties, he looks none the worse for wear. Even so, I am certain it takes its toll on him. He wants to set an example for his people and those who serve him, and wishes not to worry them over his condition. Excuse me, Serenoa, but is there anything I could do to help? Ah, Frederica, my apologies for the delay. The citizens' petition will require a bit more time, so why don't you and Gila return home ahead of me? I see. If you insist. But please do not push yourself too hard, Serenoa. I shan't. Thank you, Frederica. Of course. Is something the matter? It's rare of you to sign like that. Did I? Oh my. It looks like something's troubling you. If you wish to talk about it, I am happy to lend an ear. Well, to be perfectly honest, I sometimes wonder if I can go on like this. Are things not going well with Lord Zaranoa? No! Saranoa is as kind and gentle as ever. It is my own self I have doubts about. I cannot help but wonder if I am truly of any use to him. Since Lord Saranoa is always working so hard, why not give him a tonic to boost his vitality? I purchased one from a merchant not long ago. 
It should chase all his fatigue away. A good idea to be sure, but the fact remains it is not me myself that is serving him. Then how about preparing a meal for him? Something nutritious to fill him with vim and vigor. Me? Cook? Yes. I'm certain he would be delighted by anything that you make. But I've never cooked before. I doubt anything I make would suffice. You won't know until you try. Besides, what matters isn't the result, but the feeling behind it. Use this cookbook. I'm sure you will find a recipe or two to your liking. Thank you, Gila. Now then, which of these would Saranoa enjoy? <lacht> Neun haben wir noch. Uiuiuiui. Erador gönnt sich im Feldlager etwas Ruhe. Da bittet ihn plötzlich Juet um Rat. Seems as if the troubles never cease. I'd kill for a drop of ale. I take it you and Benedict have seen your share of trouble. You have both served House Wolfort for many years, yes? Aye. We both served Lord Simon since we were green between the years. Through the good times and the bad. To see him now, you wouldn't believe the stories of what we got up to in our tender years. Even then, though, he was always the schemer. Always drawn me into his fanciful plots. Has so much changed since then? <laughs> I don't reckon so. In any case, was there something you wanted to ask me? There was. The other day, Benedict posed quite the strange question to me. Snowbell Blossom's Bloom? Indeed. I thought perhaps you had seen trace of the flowers while scouting with Flugi. I've spotted clusters of them in the deep mountain passes before, but not of late. So it is as I thought. They have ever been a rare sight, even more so in recent years. I had thought to procure one, but it may be wise to temper my expectations in that regard. Life always finds a way to flourish. I am certain Anna and I can find one before long. I would not have you chasing my idle fancies. You both have more vital duties to attend to. I... of course. So, Benedict's looking for a snowbell blossom. What's so peculiar about that? Nothing, if it were anyone else asking. However, I think you'd agree that Benedict is not the type to go picking flowers on a whim. They say that when a snowbell blooms... That moment is frozen in time. Aye. Precisely. You and Benedict both never fail to surprise. But of all flowers, why the snowbell? Does he have some lady love I'm unaware of? I can't speak to that, but I'll tell you one thing, Hewitt. We've all got moments locked away and placed close to our hearts. You, me, even a stubborn-headed mule like Benedict. Like the snowbell, we want him frozen like that forever. And, like the Snowbell, they're liable to shatter if we let another handle them carelessly. I... understand. I apologize if I was too forward. Let us forget the matter. 
No. It isn't you that needs to apologize. I'm always telling Benedict no one likes being lectured. It was enlightening. I see you and Benedict are true friends. For lack of a better word, I. Bring me a draft of ale, and I'll tell you all about our younger days. At least, what I can remember. I recall Benedict wasn't nearly as capable as he is now. Hmm. I may have to take you up on that offer. Do you really reckon snowbells are still blooming somewhere out there? Perhaps. Though I've not seen them in this region. They may still bloom in the southern reaches. In other words, a trek and a half from here. Don't give up the search, my friend. Juet und Erador gehen auf Jagd. Dabei entwickelt sich ein interessantes Gespräch. A whole day of hunting and this is all I have to show for it. Wanted to give Lord Serenoa something meaty for once. A deer is no easy prey. You are a skilled hunter. One deer to your three boar? It's plain who the better of us is. I don't reckon you let a single one escape. Could be hunting is your true calling. Perhaps. Before I was knighted, I was keeper of the hawk's roost. And besides, I come from a long line of hunters. That's so. And what drove you to fight men for a living? Lenbrook put out a call for hawk riders. That they might challenge S. Frost's aerial superiority. I answered that call. My training was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. But I won a position in the Kingsguard, where I petitioned to serve Prince Roland personally. Seeing you in action, I'm sure you could have made a fine commander. Yet you stuck by the Prince's side. Yes, I did. Flugi has yet to return. I hope he isn't in danger. What's this then? A traveler out here all alone, huh? And in sore need of protection by my reckoning. Hand over your coin purse and maybe we can reach an arrangement. Bandits? Here? How could I be so careless? I'd advise against running. Ain't nowhere for you to go. Enough! Ugh. Are you hurt? I'm fine, thanks to you. Had you not showed up when you did, I could have ended up dead. You have my gratitude. Is that your hawk? It guided me here. I was in the middle of a hunt, but your bird cried out as if calling to me. Thank heavens I did not lose that arrow. I've never known hawks could be so wise. His name is Flugi, and he's more than my hawk. He's my closest companion. The bandits are growing more bold by the day. It is best you returned home. Wait! I have scarce little to give in the way of coin. But still, there must be something I can do to repay you. Think nothing of it. It is the royal family's duty to protect our subjects. The royal... Good heavens! You're Prince Roland! Forgive me, your highness. There's no need for all that stuffy formality. May we meet again soon. Yes, your highness.
That was my first meeting with the Prince. He saved my life, and for that, I shall be forever in his debt. I could settle for no less than the Kingsguard. Da fühle ich mich doch noch viel wohler, dass ich damals Roland nicht ausgeliefert habe. In Heisens heilende Heilung sinniert eine junge Medica über den Wert des Lebens. Oh, die kriege ich neu dazu. Die, die kenne ich. It's an emergency. We have two patients. Both with extraordinary fevers. The Rosellen is unresponsive. Well, I can't tend to both unless you can give me two more pairs of arms. Let me help. I've just completed my training and I'll do whatever it takes to save them. Are there no real doctors left? Uh, fine, come. We're losing precious time. Leave the Rosellen. We must prioritize the Believer. As you wish. But the Rosellen will die unless we do something. Do they not teach the order of things in school these days? So what if they do? What does the order of things have to do with saving lives? Not all lives are weighted the same. You would do well to remember that. Quickly, Medina, these people are dying as we bicker. I couldn't save him. Orders or not, I was the one following them. It's all my fault. Where are you going? Medina! I beg your pardon, Lord Saranoa, but a doctor from the Ministry requests an audience with... My name is Medina. I've heard much about your house and simply had to see it for myself. What insolence is this? Stand down. Pray tell, what brings you before me? It is said House Wolfert possesses a relic known as the Scales of Conviction. Is this true? It is. We turn to the Scales for guidance in times of trouble. Then, I wonder if they might guide me forward as well. I... I had a crisis of confidence. A man was counting on me to save his life, and I let him die. I cannot let this happen again. I wish to save all the lives I can, regardless of country or creed. Pray grant me the chance to consult the scales, that I might walk the righteous path. The scales are merely a tool to an end. They are not a magical window into the future. When decisions must be made, all in this house have a say. We choose as best we're able and strive to ensure we chose wisely. You mean you strive not to regret your decision? That is all one can do. Forgive me if this is not the answer you sought. Then, would House Wolford accept my aid if I offered it, my lord? If you would serve as a physician, that would be a boon. For we fear the war is far from over. I would be honored, my lord. I would see what I could do to rewrite the order of things. Then let us walk the path together. I am at your service, my lord. Medina hat sich dir angeschlossen. Ah, noch eine Heilerin. Mal schauen, was sie denn irgendwie anders kann. Eine Expertin auf dem Gebiet der Arzneikunde verstärkt den Effekt von Heilgegenständen drastisch. Kann in einer Runde zweimal Gegenstände benutzen. Oh Gott, das ist ein teurer Spaß mit ihr dann. Da finde ich, glaube ich, Heilzauber besser. 
So, nächste Charakter-Episode. Gila merkt plötzlich, wie sehr sie einer bestimmten Person ähnelt. Greetings. Were you training outside? Not today. Even I stay away from the proving grounds on occasion. The members of the King's Guard must keep themselves in prime fighting shape. That includes resting when our bodies are weary. Hmm, a wise policy. The handmaidens of Esfros adhere to a similar principle. With clear eyes, we see, we serve, we anticipate. Interesting. Although our tools are different, we're alike in our aims. Indeed. We must be the pillars our charges turn to in times of need. Even so, we are only human. If I may ask in confidence, do you ever find it... trying to serve Prince Roland? Is he ever unreasonable? Have you ever found your patience tested? No, never. It is an honor to serve, always. It is an odd question to ask, but I must confess I find it hard to imagine what it is like to serve in a society such as Esfrost's. As do I, although I lived through it. It all feels as if it were so long ago. You're not one for speaking plain, are you? But I suspect we may have much in common. I'm curious to hear your story, if you are willing to share it. Of course. I made a promise to myself long ago to effect change through my own deeds, not to live as a mere servant. And what came of that promise? Hailing from Hyzant, at first I endeavored to learn of the Ministry, that I might use the knowledge gained there to help others. But they guard their secrets fiercely, and maintain strict control over what fields their students can pursue. As much as it pained me to leave my home, I could not suffer such stifling rules, and so set forth to Esrost. I took quickly to learning at the archives, where independent study is encouraged. I spent days in the stacks, soaking up as much knowledge as I could, when one day... You are the one called Gila, yes? Yes, my lord. They tell me you're the most talented researcher the Archives have ever seen. I couldn't say that, my lord. Though I do spend more time here than most anyone else. Admirable modesty. And you aren't frightened of me. Most impressive. I believe we have a suitable role for you. Come with me. The Archduke would have a word. The Archduke? But... No harm will come to you. If that is your fear. Now, follow me. Lord Zvarok had arranged an audience with the former Archduke of Esfrost, who appointed me as Frederica's personal tutor. She was the former Archduke's daughter, so I took my duty seriously. Yet I could never shake the feeling that I had betrayed my ideals. Perhaps I justified it by telling myself that my teachings could plant the seed for change. An indirect approach, but an active one nonetheless. The chance was unexpected to be sure, but I could not very well deny it. The Archduke's successor, Gustadov, was a man that paid no heed to birth or blood. He affected a change in people's attitudes, a change which provided fertile ground in which my teachings could take root. Thus, I stayed by Frederica's side. Truth be told, I had not thought to be with her for this long. And yet, here I am. Life is truly a journey of unforeseen destinations.
Rudolf erinnert sich beim Spaziergang mit Anna plötzlich an etwas aus seiner Vergangenheit. Please, good sir, toss us a spare coin. A beggar. Cast off from me as frosty mine, no doubt. Focus, Rudolph. There is work to be done. Many thanks, sir. May your good deed be returned tenfold. Apologies for that, ma'am. On we go. This war has forced so many into poverty. Everyone looks a bit more downtrodden these days. Hmm. Is everything all right? You see miles away. Just thinking of the past is all. You've made your last run, smuggler scum. Damn it all. Looks like I'm done for. You're under arrest for the illegal transportation and distribution of salt. Please, you've got to let me go. I beg you. My little brother needs me. He'll die if you don't. He's sick and... <laughs> a likely story. What a pity, then, that you chose to betray your country rather than support him through honest means. Throw him in a cell so he can contemplate the consequences of his crimes. No, get your hands off me. You gotta let me go. I got to smuggle in salt so I could afford medicine for my brother. We could barely put food on the table, let alone find money for medicine. I know it ain't right, but what choice did I have? He died while I was locked up. I broke my promise to him. I had no idea. It's not anything to do with you, anyhow. Let's get back to work. Hossabara trinkt mit Erador und plaudert über ihr Leben. the good stuff ain't no one can pour a pint like you i take coin for drink not compliments it's hard enough to keep this place running on my own as it is need me to lend a hand thought you'd never ask you can start by washing the dishes then restocking our foodstuffs fixing up that wobbly table and i leave it to me ha <laughs> I'm only playing. I'd never put a paying customer to labor. But that's an awful lot of work for any one person. Ever give thought to finding someone with whom you might share the burden? You can stop right there. The last thing I need is anyone else complicating my life. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. I had myself a someone once, you know? Special like. Till he left me for a special or someone. Raised my son Theo all by myself after that. He'd be a man grown now, if the war hadn't taken him. Uh, forgive me, Hasabara. Didn't mean to go drudging up painful memories. No need for apologies. I don't know anyone who doesn't have a thing or two in their past that haunts them. In truth, I'm more exhausted than anything. Must be the years taking their toll. Ain't got nothing to do with age, and everything to do with the hardships you've overcome. <laughs> more impressive than an old soldier drowning his sorrows in mead. 
What kind of barkeep am I? Letting my poor patron wallow. Uh, sometimes wallowing's good for the soul. Come on, have a round with me. My treat. Took you long enough to make the offer. Now, what shall we toast to? Hmm. How about to your son? I, to Theo. Lionel hat sich in die Armee der Woolfords eingeschlichen, um Geld zu verdienen. Hail and well met, my good fellow. Lionel greets you most heartily. Ah, Clara spoke of you. Lionel, you say? The very same. And in a position of privilege for which he is most grateful. A privilege that he would be most happy to share with the consortium, that it might prove to our mutual benefit. Oh, a fellow man with an eye for profit, I see. What privilege have you brought me today? A worldly fellow such as yourself has doubtless heard rumors of Hyzant's clandestine research projects. Yes? Indeed I have. Developing weapons of devastating power. Unlocking the secrets of eternal life. What if Lionel were to tell you that Hyzant has in fact created an elixir that offers everlasting use? I would be intrigued. And then I'd ask you how you could possibly know such a thing. It's a simple matter of logic. Think. Why would Hyzant hide the existence of so wondrous a panacea? Hmm. I suppose they'd want to keep such power to them and theirs. Just so. The only thing kings and nobles covet more than salt is life itself. <laughs> My lord is no exception. What are you saying? That those you serve have procured this miracle drug. Lionel has found himself welcome within nobility's most inner circles, he is proud to say, and privy to their secret conversations. He also finds himself in possession of a certain medicine, a medicine he would be happy to part with a share of for the right price. A price I'd be more than willing to pay for such an incredible elixir. Do tell me, what exactly does it do? What doesn't it do? Its imbiber is blessed with unyielding vigor, unflagging stamina, and unmitigated vitality. Demand has proven so overwhelming that Lionel cannot hope to deliver the goods all on his own. He would be willing to share his profits with the right partner, however. If you've won the nobles' trust, then I see no reason to hesitate in helping you take some of their coin. Very well. Let me see the goods. <laughs> that makes Tim who put their lust for coin before their capacity for reason. This is almost too easy. With a few rumors and a respected name at his disposal, Lionel could sell these gullible fools their own shoes. <laughs> They're welcome to help themselves to this purgative. And if one or two of them is remarkably long-lived, then all the better for Lionel. And are you content to make your fortune on the backs of fools? Oh, uh, you! How long have you been there? Since the morning, on Benedict's orders. Hmm. Your overseer is too kind. However, you may return and inform him that Lionel needs no protection. His work to bring fortune to House Walfort requires the utmost concentration 
and the presence of others can prove an unnecessary distraction. Julio und Erador stoßen während ihrer Patrouille auf etwas, das sie nicht ignorieren können. Please, you can't take our wheat. We just sent food the other day. Silence. Lord Walford has ordered the requisition of all provisions. You wouldn't dare disobey your lord, would you? Of course not. I... I just can't believe Lord Walford would command such a thing. Are you accusing me, a noble woman of Glenbrook, of lying? <laughs> How dare you, peasant. Mayhap we should see what the commotion is about. Mind telling us what's going on? Well, if it isn't Captain Eridor, thank you for all that you do to keep these lands safe. You're one of the lot what recently fled from the Crown City, ain't you? Just so, yes. I came to humbly lend what aid I could to Lord Wolfford and deliver on the provisions I promised. What is your quarrel with these people? If you could explain the situation, we'd be more than happy to lend what aid we can. Please, I beg of you, don't take our food. It's all we have. I've always known Lord Wolfford to care for his people above all. Why would he do this to us? What madness is this? Lord Serenoa has strictly forbidden commandeering food from the common folk. Surely you aren't asking these good people to relinquish their stores to you in his name. I am simply gathering provisions on Lord Walford's behalf, as I promised. Honestly, he should be grateful. Grateful? <laughs> He'd be red in the face if he saw what you were doing. Ain't no way he ordered it. On the contrary, you are acting in violation of your Lord's decree. You cannot overlook your actions. You will come with us and be jailed. There you will await judgment for your crimes. What nonsense is this? I am a noblewoman of Glenbrook. How dare you try to order me about, you self-important little man? You've no authority over me! Look, I ain't disagreeing. But are you sure we should accost her without seeking Lord Serenoa's counsel first? We haven't that luxury. The longer she is allowed to roam free, the more the people will suffer, and our Lord's good name be sullied. We must show the people that unethical acts will not go unpunished. Take her away. You will pay for your impudence! Can't believe there are scoundrels out here using House Wolfort's name for real gain. You've done us all proud today, Yulio. Thank you ever so much, my lord. We'd be facing starvation if you hadn't stepped in. She really had us fooled. We should have known Lord Wolfort is too kind a man to order anything like that. If you are ever troubled again, please seek me out. I shall ensure that any wrongs committed against you are set right. Jens zeigt Sir Noah ein Buch, das er aus den Ace Froster Archiven geliehen hat. That tome is an apprentice's resource, if I'm not mistaken. Are you studying ironworking? Yes, I borrowed it some time ago from the archives in the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. I haven't had a chance to return it. What with the state of affairs being as it is.
Ian's? I can't remember the last time you privileged us with a visit. Well, my weapons aren't going to forge themselves. But now that I have a respite from my days of sweat and flame, I thought I'd continue my studies. You hunger for knowledge the way a fire hungers for kindling. I'd never have become the blacksmith I am if not for what I gleaned from these tomes. If it takes a lifetime of studying and striving to forge the perfect weapon, then so be it. One day, all will know the name of Ian's. The greatest smithy the realm has ever seen! That is all well and good, but would you mind proclaiming that a little more quietly? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, apologies. In my excitement, I quite forgot I was in a library. I must say, I can't help but admire your burning ambition. But while we're speaking in hushed tones... Our army has been anything but quiet as of late. You forge weapons for them, yes? Might you have any insight into the matter? I wish I did, but I have scant time for the goings-on outside my own small forge. Though, now that you mention it, my orders from the army have increased. Could it be that they're preparing for war? <laughs> As if a war could break out on the eve of our three nations' grand new venture. Indeed. That would be unthinkable. S. Frost's sudden attack on Glenbrook confirmed my worst fears. Once the war started, I could forget about returning this book. But I still hope to. One day, when peace has returned to our realm. I hope you will fight by my side till it does. Without hesitation, my lord. Narv spricht mit Gila über ihre Heimat Heißend und seinen Großvater Grandante. That should do it. You should be able to use that arm just fine in no time. Many thanks, Slad. You truly are a talented one. My apologies for treating you like an intruder the other day. Think nothing of it, my good man. If you need anything else, I'm more than happy to help. Your magic never ceases to amaze. Did you learn everything from your grandfather? You bet I did. The Archmage Grandante taught me everything I know. Grandante? There's something I've been meaning to ask you, Narv. Ask away. I was in Hyzand for a short time, studying at the Ministry. No doubt you know it's considered the greatest authority in this world when it comes to matters arcane. Their library contains everything from records of magically enhanced soldiers to technical tomes and much, much more. Their chronicles on the history of magic, too, were the most comprehensive in our realm. And yet, I do not recall seeing even a single mention of a mage named Grandante. One would think the achievements of such a powerful sorcerer would be recorded somewhere. Why are they not? Those awful Hyzantians. Truly, they have no shame. Narv? The chronicles you speak of? In truth, they were written by my grandfather's own hand. What? what But then why is he not credited by name? He refused to do the research the former Hierophant ordered of him, and was branded a heretic and unbeliever. 
They erased his name and achievements from the records and made it like he never existed at all. He was then banished from the city and died in exile. His name all but forgotten. It's all their fault. No one knows of the Archmage Grandante. I... I had no idea. These robes I wear were once his. They're the only remaining proof that he once walked this realm. So you carry his memory with you everywhere you go. I promised myself I would make the Archmage Grandante's name known around the world. So I'm going to work harder than I've ever worked before. Until all in the realm know his story. And in the process, I'll become the greatest mage this world has ever seen. That's the spirit. Thanks, Gila. Just you watch, Grandfather. I'm going to make you proud. Oh, da haben wir noch eine Nebenquest. Was ist das? Die Präfekten beraten sich im Palast und es kommen brisante Meinungen ans Tageslicht im Palast des Hierophanten. So it appears the Duchy intends to capture Glenbrook. But Prince Roland slipped from their grasp and fled to Wolfwort. The ink on the treaty is barely dried, and they're already declaring war. And what's more, there's a price on Prince Roland's head. It has spurred the masses into movement. They will bear their fangs at us in time. We cannot leave them to their own devices. I see this as a wonderful opportunity. We can make it clear how we stand after the Salt Iron War. Aye. And I much prefer to extinguish embers than a raging inferno. It sounds like you intend to start a war. Calm yourselves. There is no need to get so worked up over this. It is true that this grave matter may one day affect Heizant. But it is in times like these that we must trust the Hierophant's words more than ever. So, ich glaube, jetzt habe ich alles abgearbeitet. Dann machen wir mal weiter mit der Hauptgeschichte. Sarah Noah empfängt in seiner neuen Position als Fürst einen überraschenden Gast. Father, please open your eyes. There is so much I wish to ask you. Lord Sarah Noah. I cannot let Father hear how weak I've become. I must be strong. Lord Serenoa, Master Benedict, you have a visitor. Who is it? Lord Silvio Tellior. He wishes for an audience with Lord Serenoa. What business would the Lord of House Tellior have with me? Tell him we will be there shortly. Yes, sir. Every day is busier than the last. We haven't had a moment to catch our breath. You are doing a fine job as head of House Wolfort, Lord Serenoa. Your father would be proud if he could see you now. I could not do it without you, Benedict. Thank you. Oh mein Gott, ich muss wieder Dinge entscheiden. 
Und dann auch nur noch eine schwierige Entscheidung. Silvius Vorschlag zwingt Serenoa eine schwierige Entscheidung auf. Uff. In short, you wish for the three high houses to join hands and fight the duchy. Is that correct, Lord Silvio? Indeed. I believe it our duty to fight. Some are frozen in fear, trembling at the mere thought of the Duchy's power. I feel that joining the three high houses under a single flag is the only way to unite them. My men ready themselves for war as we speak. Come to Telior, and we can strike at Esros together. Prince Roland will be safe with us, of course. It's as good a plan as any. You have my thanks for getting the preparations underway. I wonder if Lord Landroy will agree. I doubt House Falks would refuse a fight. Their devotion to the Crown knows no bounds. But of course. They reaped great rewards from the bountiful lands won during the war. You propose reuniting the three high houses who led the Salt Iron War to its end. It is heartening to know you would once again lend us your strength. We certainly could use all the help we can get. Though I wish we could resolve matters peacefully. You speak as though your brother is not at fault for all this. My bride-to-be bears no blame for the Duchy's actions. Uh, my apologies. Forgive me for my outburst. But we haven't much time. I would have your answer now. Shall we accept Lord Silvio's proposal, my lord? Fetch the scales, Benedict. We shall decide our path together. Fürst Silvio ist zu uns gekommen, um uns ein Bündnis vorzuschlagen. Ich muss erfahren, wie die anderen darüber denken. Ha. Also ich hätte halt gerne äh, tatsächlich ähm, Landroy befragt. Aber dann hätte ich es sofort gemacht. Also Silvios Vorschlag annehmen und nach Tellior reisen. Da haben wir drei für, aber Frederica, Gela und Huet sind dagegen. Dann schauen wir mal, ähm, was die Parteien, die da für sind, dazu zu sagen haben. Also fangen wir mit Roland an. Natürlich traue ich Fürst Silvio nicht. Dennoch ist es wahr, dass wir Verbündete benötigen. Gemeinsam können die drei Häuser Glenbrock vielleicht aus der Krise führen. Okay. Anna, was sagst du dazu? Yes, sir. Wir müssen jederzeit mit einem Angriff rechnen, doch unsere Kampfkraft schwindet immer mehr. Die Motive von Haus Tellior spielen keine Rolle. Wir müssen nur für unsere Zwecke nutzen. Wir müssen sie nur für unsere Zwecke nutzen. So, also wenigstens vertrauen die ihm auch nicht. Die drei großen Häuser haben der Krone Treue geschworen. Und doch ist Fürst Silvio dem König in der Stunde der Not nicht zu Hilfe geeilt. Ich frage mich, was ihn jetzt auf einmal geritten hat um eine Allianz mit ihm. Äh, werden wir aber vermutlich wohl nicht rumkommen. Na gut, Benedikt, du struggles ja noch ein bisschen, ne? Dich hören wir später an. Dann erstmal Frederika. Denkst du wirklich, dass wir diesen Krieg gemeinsam mit Haus Tellior beenden können? Ei. Geht so. Ich frage mich, ob wir nicht nur Öl ins Feuer gießen, anstatt es zu löschen. What do you need? Haus Tellior mag für seinen Wein bekannt sein, nicht aber für seine Krieger. Ich frage mich, ob ein Bündnis mit ihm in diesen Zeiten wirklich sinnvoll ist. Okay. Und Juet? Unsere Soldaten sind nach der Schlacht mit Ace Frost erschöpft. Wir müssen, unseren Truppen, wir müssen unsere Truppen verstärken, aber aus Tellior erscheint mir nicht vertrauenswürdig. Mir halt auch nicht, das ist das Problem, aber... Benedikt, du bist doch so weit. Wir alle misstrauen Fürst Silvius Angebot und können sicherlich ohne große Mühe sein wahres Vorhaben erraten. Doch was immer aus Tellior auch plant, wir können es sicher zu unserem Vorteil nutzen. Hm... Na komm, 
Wir, wir versuchen es mal. Ein Bündnis mit den Teleors von vornherein auszuschließen wäre in der Tat töricht. Ich wüsste gerne genauer, wie er dazu steht. Rolands Steckbriefe. Ich würde jegliche Hilfe beim Schutz von Prinz Roland begrüßen. Oder in dieser Krise müssen die drei großen Häuser zusammenstehen. Ein Bündnis ist der erste Schritt, weitere Mitstreiter zu finden. Oder welchen Weg wir auch einschlagen, wir werden mehr Männer benötigen. Ein Bund mit einem der anderen großen Häuser wird uns neue Möglichkeiten eröffnen. Ähm, ja, das erste Ding. Sagen wir mal ganz sachlich. Ja. In der Tat wäre uns allein die Hände in vielerlei Hinsicht gebunden. Aber auch ihr scheint Fürst Silvius Charakter zu hinterfragen. Würde es uns wirklich zum Vorteil gereichen, uns mit einem solch zwielichtigen Mann zu verbinden? Okay, eine Option fehlt mir. Schade. Ähm, natürlich werde ich Fürst Silvio nicht blind vertrauen. Dennoch können wir sein Angebot derzeit nicht ausschlagen. Ich möchte unsere Situation verbessern, selbst wenn es so ein bisschen ist. Eine Allianz wäre da... Nee, das erste Ding. Ah. Gut gesagt, mein Fürst. Nur vertrauenswürdige Verbündete, um uns zu schauen, würde uns nicht weit bringen. Ein Anführer muss mit jeder Art Mensch umgehen und seine Gefolgsleute tapfer führen können. Benedikt wirkt nachdenklich. Was ist eigentlich mit ihm hier? Ein Stadtbesuch, mein Fürst? Ah. Ah. Deswegen hatte ich da auch eine Option nicht. Ähm, bevor ich meine Entscheidung treffe, gehe ich jetzt erstmal in die Stadt. Das macht Sinn. So, was habt ihr alle zu melden? Fürst Silvio ist extra den weiten Weg aus Telio gekommen, um meine Allianz vorzuschlagen. Aber ehrlich gesagt wäre sein Haus keine große Hilfe in der Schlacht. In der Tat, Haus Telio ist nicht gerade für seinen, seinen Heldenmut bekannt. Aber vielleicht bleibt uns keine andere Wahl. Ja, das ist echt schwierig. Mantel der Nachhut. Was ist denn der Mantel der Nachhut? So, warte mal. Kann ich doch... Äh, nee, Inventar war das, ne? So. Gegenstände. Mantel der Nachhut. Reduziert den erlittenen Schaden durch Angriffe von hinten. Oh, das ist cool. Das ist gar nicht so schlecht. Da liegt hier irgendwie was Interessantes. Hier liegt gar nichts. Richtig unnötiges Haus. Jetzt ist die Frage, werden die Häuser damals abgebrannt? Ähm, dann wären die vielleicht jetzt nicht hier und dadurch kann ich eventuell neue Items finden? Ich weiß es nicht, ob das eine Rolle gespielt hat. Das Haus wäre zum Beispiel abgefackelt. Hallo Kind. Vielen Dank, dass ihr unser Haus beschützt habt, Fürst Noah. Ha! Na ja, gut. Zumindest weiß er, was ich getan habe. Ist hier irgendwie was Schönes? Nee. Oh, wie? Warum musste das gerade jetzt geschehen? Hast du etwas auf dem Herzen? Vielleicht kann ich dir helfen. Nun, meine Tochter und ihr Mann hatten einen heftigen Streit und haben sich getrennt, obwohl ihr Kind noch ganz klein ist. Was soll ich nur für den armen Fratz tun? Ich fürchte, dir sind die Hände gebunden. Das Problem betrifft die beiden als Mann und Frau. Kinder leiden unter den Streitigkeiten ihrer Eltern, Eltern am meisten. Du solltest alles versuchen, um sie wieder zu versöhnen. Du kannst sie nicht zwingen, zusammen zu bleiben. Es ist zum Besten, wenn sie beide ein neues Leben beginnen. Tja. Irgendwann, also nur für die Kinder zusammen zu bleiben, ist halt auch Bullshit. So. Da habt ihr nicht Unrecht, mein Fürst. Wenn sie gegen ihren Willen zusammenblieben, würde alles vielleicht nur noch schlimmer. Ihre Ehe ist vorbei, aber ihre Leben noch lange nicht. Ich bete für das Glück meiner Tochter, welchen Weg sie auch immer beschreiten wird. Ich danke euch, mein Fürst, ich bin jetzt weitaus zuversichtlicher. Es tut mir leid, dass ich euch in diesen schweren Zeiten mit meinen Familienangelegenheiten behelligt habe. Aber nicht doch, jede Familie durchlebt mal schwere Zeiten. Ja, also. So, Weiner. Komm, 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 gib mir was zum Looten. Ha! Starke lp pastille Hier wohnt eine Katze. Ja, ne, mehr ist hier nicht. Mehr ist hier nicht. Hier lag irgendwo was rum. Ach, da hinten in der Ecke, ja. Da. Hochwertiges Garn, das nehme ich gerne. Hallo, Typ. Ihr habt Ace Frost zurückgedrängt. Überlasst also den Wiederaufbau Wolfords ruhig uns. Sag, ist der ganze Markt weg. Ja, ich doch beschützt. Welch ein Segen, dass unsere Häuser nicht den Flammen zum Opfer fallen mussten. Das Lieblingsspielzeug meiner Tochter war noch genau da, wo sie es liegen gelassen hatte. Und mein Gatte wird nun auch beruhigt zurückkehren können. Ha, ich bin toll. Ich bin ja so froh, dass die Häuser noch stehen. Meine Puppe war noch zu Hause, da, wo sie sicher ist. 
Ja, sonst wären die nach Tierleder. Sonst wären die Nachrichten hier wahrscheinlich ein bisschen deprimierender gewesen. Hätte ich die Häuser nicht beschützt. Na, hier so irgendwie in der Ecke? Nee. Ha! Das sehe ich doch. Magiesteigerndes Pulver. Dö. Jo, 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 jo. Das war's hier. Nochmal so in der Ecke irgendwie was? Nee. Eh. Wer bist du? Was machst du hier? Für Sir Noah. Dank euch stehen unsere Häuser noch. Wir stehen tief in eurer Schuld. Die Schlacht hat aber trotzdem Spuren hinterlassen. Sowohl die Soldaten als auch die Bürger haben schon bessere Tage gesehen. Meine Bürger leiden unter den Folgen der Kämpfe auf unserem Boden. Einen weiteren Angriff. Die Ace Frost werden wir allein nicht überstehen. Ich glaube doch. Ich glaube doch. So, ist hier irgendwas? Ist hier irgendwas? Looten. Alles meins, alles meins. Ah, du hast nichts. Unsympathisch. Fürst Silvio hat mich wirklich enttäuscht. Er hat sich während der schlimmsten Krise des Landes in seinem Mauseloch verkrochen. Natürlich muss er für die Sicherheit seiner eigenen Bürger sorgen, aber was ist mit seinen Pflichten der Krone gegenüber? Loyalität sollte man bei Silvio wohl nicht erwarten. Ja, das weiß ich leider schon. Wer bist du? Was willst du? Für Sir Noah mit eurem Sieg über Ace Frost habt ihr die Stärke von Haus Wolford eindrucksvoll bewiesen. Habt ihr Neuigkeiten von den anderen Häusern? Meine Familie lebt im Fürstentum Teliore. Fürst Silvio soll sich in militärischen Angelegenheiten nicht gerade mit Ruhm bekleckern. Gegen Ace Frost würden sie nicht bestehen. Das stimmt. Haus Telior ist reich und besitzt gute Verbindungen. Es würde sich nicht so leicht dem Erdboden gleich machen lassen. Fürst Silvio war so gelassen wie immer. Ich beneide ihn um seine natürliche Ruhe. Nee, ich beneide ihn um seinen Scheiß. Sollte es zum Schlimmsten kommen, ist deine Familie bei uns immer willkommen. Aber Telior ist eines der drei großen Häuser und Fürst Silvio würde alles tun, um sein Gebiet zu verteidigen. Ja, letzter Punkt. Vielen Dank. Eure Großzügigkeit kennt keine Grenzen. Das stimmt mich ein wenig erleichtert. Wäre aus Teleor doch auch nur so verlässlich. Ich werde meiner Familie Bescheid geben und sicher nach Wolford einladen. Bam. Silvius der Fürst, Teleore, aber viel Ehrfurcht taucht er mir nicht ein. Unfassbar, wie er in seinen edlen Kleidern herumstolziert, während wir die Stadt wieder aufbauen. Loot, Loot. Loot. Loot, 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 Loot. Kein Loot. Okay, traurig. Das stimmt mich traurig. So, kurz gucken, ob hier irgendwas funkelt. Nö, ich glaube, ich hab's. Auf zur Waage des Urteils. Da oben war ich drin, ne? Ja, 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 ja. Das habe ich gleich zuerst gemacht. Ja, ich möchte zurückkehren. Wir haben hier immer noch drei Leute, die wir überzeugen wollen. Fangen wir mit Frederica an. Denkst du wirklich, dass wir diesen Krieg gemeinsam mit Haus Teleo beenden können? Ja, ja, ja. Öl ins Feuer. Komm, überzeugen wir dich. Wir sollten Fürst Silvius Vorschlag annehmen und nach Teleo reisen. Was hältst du von Fürst Silvius Vorschlag, Sir So eine Allianz zwischen zwei der drei großen Häuser gebe den Menschen viel benötigte Hoffnung. Die Lebensmittel und Materialien aus Teleore würden unsere Soldaten und Bürgern zugutekommen, oder es ist wichtig für uns, unsere Truppen zu verstärken. Ach, ich glaube, Frederika ist ein Hoffnungsmensch. Ich habe viel von der langjährigen Treue der drei großen Häuser gegenüber Glenbrock gehört. Eine Allianz würde den Menschen wohl wirklich neue Hoffnung verleihen, und die ist bitter nötig. Vielleicht waren meine Bedenken unbegründet. Bereitet ihr etwas an Haus Teleore Sorgen, Frederika? Ja, ich frage mich, was Fürst Silvio wirklich im Schilde führt, und ob Ace Frost nicht dabei seine Finger im Spiel hat. Es ist nicht gänzlich auszuschließen, dass Ace Frost Haus Teleore bereits für sich gewonnen hat. Ja, stimmt. Wenn wir Fürst Silvios Angebot ausschlagen, wendet er sich möglicherweise Ace Frost zu. Das kannst du haben. Ace Frost wird uns sicher schon bald wieder angreifen. Mit Niederlagen begnügt sich der Herzog nicht. Ja, zweiter Punkt. Ich traue ihm halt nicht so richtig. Eines der drei großen Häuser und Ace Frost. Hm, Ace Frost wäre es in der Tat zuzutrauen, Haus Teleore gewaltsam in die Knie zu zwingen oder es sich mit Versprechungen gefügig zu machen. In dem Falle wäre es natürlich besser, dem Herzogtum durch eine Allianz mit Haus Teleore zuvorzukommen. Oh, Frederika wirkt sehr beeindruckt. Uiuiui, ui, ui. Gila! What do you need? Haus Teleore, Wein, kenne ich schon. Wäre für Silvio ein vertrauenswürdiger Mann, würde ich bedenkenlos zustimmen, aber die Gerüchte über ihn. Ja, 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 ja. Ich überzeug dich jetzt. In dieser Situation ist jede Verstärkung ein Gewinn, keine Frage. Jedoch könnte ein treuloser Verbündeter auch alles zunichte machen. Oder etwa nicht. 
derzeit haben wir keine, gro äh, keine großen Handlungsspielräume. Mit neuen Verbündeten könnten wir dem Abhilfe jedoch schaffen. Zunächst müssen wir uns um unsere Versorgungssituation kümmern, das hat Vorrang. Wir haben viele gute Männer verloren und Nachschub halten wir nicht lange durch. Äh, Gila steht auf Versorgung. So. Ohne Risiko gewinnt man wohl auch nichts. Vielleicht bleibt uns wirklich keine Wahl. Benedikt gibt sein Bestes, aber so schnell wird sich die Situation nicht bessern. Möglicherweise führt Haus Teleora etwas im Schilde, aber das wissen wir nicht. Dass es, mit uns, äh, dass es uns mit wichtigen Gütern versorgen könnte, steht hingegen fest. Ich verstehe, solange ihr auch die Risiken im Auge behaltet, habe ich keine Einwände. Gila wirkt nachdenklich. Oh, ja, ich glaube, das habe ich nicht schlecht gemacht. Juet, unsere Soldaten und Schlacht und erschöpft. Wir müssen stärken, vertrauenswürdig, bla, bam, gib ihm. Sagt mir Fürst Sarnauer, wie schätzt ihr Fürst Silvius Angebot ein? Okay, je mehr Soldaten, äh, wir zählen, desto besser. Wir haben uns dringend etwas Ruhe verdient. Nee, Ruhe machen wir nicht. Selbst die kleinste Hilfe wäre ein Gewinn und momentan wird sonst wohl kaum jemand das Risiko eines Bündnisses mit uns eingehen. Das stimmt nicht, Landroy würde das tun. Eine Allianz unserer Häuser würde die Soldaten motivieren, vor allem da Haus Teleoro schon kampfbereit ist. Ja, ob die wirklich kampfbereit sind, weiß ich nicht, aber ich nehme das mal. Dritter Quite Punkt. True. Ja, ein Bündnis zwischen zwei der großen Häuser verbessert selbst meine Laune. Haus Falk sieht das sicher ähnlich. Ace Frost ist uns zuvor gekommen, um das Blatt zu wenden, wäre ein Zusammenschluss tatsächlich das Beste. Doch leider stammt der Plan von Fürst Silvio, dem ich kein großes Vertrauen Nein. schenke. Könntet ihr mir eure Ansichten noch etwas genauer erklären? Ace Frost hat ein Kopfgeld auf Roland ausgesetzt. Je mehr Verbündete wir haben, desto besser können wir ihn schützen. Ja, ja, ja. Das nehme ich tatsächlich, weil Juet äh, mag Roland sehr. Also ist das schon die Option. Als Prinz Rolands Leibwächterin liegt mir sein Wohlergehen natürlich ebenfalls am Herzen. Dennoch kann ich mich der Zweifel nicht erwehren, dass hinter Fürst Silvius Vorschlag mehr stecken muss. Bei Haus Falks hätte ich keine Bedenken. Fürst Landroy hat seine Lo Loyalität der Krone gegenüber genügend unter Beweis gestellt. Wenn wir wirklich für Prinz Rolands Sicherheit sorgen wollen, müssen wir mit Bedacht vorgehen. Ich bin froh, die Sache mit euch beredet zu haben. Mein Bild ist jetzt etwas klarer. Sie wirkt nachdenklich. Schauen wir mal, was wir bewirkt haben im Gesamtbild. Ähm, wie ist denn das? Einfach so. Genau. Keine weiteren Überzeugungsversuche unternehmen und die Abstimmung beginnen. Auf geht's! Stimmen wir ab! It is time to cast our votes. Do we accept House Tellier's proposal or go our own way? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. You make a convincing argument, my lord. Okay, Benedict is on my side. Frederica auch. I have no qualms with that. Ha! Gila auch überzeugt. Bleibt nur noch Juet. I have chosen. Oh, ich, kann das sein? Einstimmig? The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. Es ist einstimmig. Oh, ho, ho, ho. geil. The way forward is decided. We join forces with House Tellior and defy the Duchy's wrath. Huzzah! The tidings of our alliance will no doubt bring relief to the aching hearts of our people. Now then, Prince Roland, you and all of House Warfoot simply must come to Talior. We shall. Thank you. You needn't worry about a thing. Leave everything in my capable hands. I must make haste to Talior. I shall throw a grand banquet to commemorate the occasion. Hardly the time for celebrations. <sighs> the 
something on your mind, Benedict? No, my lord. Das Feenlein im Wind abgeschlossen. Das war's mit dem Kapitel. Jetzt bin ich natürlich gespannt, wofür hättet ihr euch entschieden? Für Tellior oder gegen Tellior? Und warum? Natürlich, das ist immer sehr interessant. Also, dann freue ich mich auf den nächsten Part, äh, um zu sehen, ob ich meine Entscheidung bereue oder halt eben nicht. Ich speichere mal auf den Slot. Das war's dann. Äh, vergesst doch nicht den Daumen nach oben, wenn es euch wirklich gefallen hat. Ansonsten abonniert gerne den Kanal oder tretet äh, den Discord bei, weil da schreibe ich dann immer, wann es neue Parts gibt, wann ich live auf Twitch streame und den ganzen anderen Schüssel. Also macht's gut. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüssi.